Professor Dave and Chegg here. We now understand acid-base reactions in the context of organic chemistry, as well as pKa values for quantifying acidity. But most acid-base reactions are equilibria, so we need to know how to predict which side of the equilibrium will dominate. Let's learn a simple method to do that now. When looking at an equilibrium that depicts a Bronsted-Lowry acid-base reaction, we can tell which side of the equilibrium is favored by looking at the pKa of the acids involved. The stronger acid will have a greater tendency to deprotonate than the weaker acid, so the side with the weaker acid will be favored because it is being produced with greater frequency than the stronger acid. In other words, looking at HCl and water producing hydronium and the chloride ion, HCl has a pKa of around negative 7, while hydronium is closer to around negative 2. This means that hydronium has less of a tendency to deprotonate than HCl, and is thus the weaker acid, so this equilibrium will favor the formation of these species. Here's another example, acetic acid and the hydroxide ion producing the acetate ion and water. Acetic acid has a pKa of 4.76, while water has a pKa of 15.7. This means that acetic acid is more likely to deprotonate than water by about 11 orders of magnitude, which means the forward direction is dominant, so the species on the right side will dominate the product mixture. There will be a lot more acetate than there is acetic acid, because acetic acid is so much more acidic than water, and also because hydroxide is so much more basic than acetate. Another way of saying this is that water is much less reactive than acetic acid. If it's much less reactive, then it is less likely to react with the acetate ion and produce the species on the left than the species on the left are to react and produce the species on the right. So the species on the right will predominate. So if we are looking at an acid-base equilibrium and we want to know which side of the equilibrium dominates the solution, we will simply identify the less acidic of the two acids, which will be the one with the higher pKa, and that is the side that will dominate. Professor Dave for Chegg. See you next time.